They say that life sucks, but here we have Good News Travel Fast, a show that brings you daily stories of positive impacts from all over the world. We're highlighting startups, policies, and badass activism. Here's today's story. Hi, Wallo. Happy Monday, man. My favorite man. How are you? No, you? not happy. No, not happy Monday. Today Whoa, is why? shitty Monday. Shitty Monday is on us. No, I don't mean it in the like, oh, Monday is a shitty day kind of way. But literally, shitty Monday has arrived. We're going to talk about poop. Oh, Lots of poop. <laughs> my favorite yes, subject. Yes, yes, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Persephone Biosciences is a biotech startup that, with the help of $15 million and a lot of poop, is building a library of the human microbiome and assembling mm-hmm. a best of list of helpful life forms that could do everything from easing digestion to fighting serious disease. But, like, whoa, whoa like, not so fast. I'm sure you're like, uh, microbiome, <laughs> like, double click. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. The microbiome is the uh often unique set of microorganisms that live in and on our bodies Mm -hmm. and perform various tasks for like mutual benefits so they're like a symbiote kind of uh so you and i have different microbiomes and that may explain why some people have more tendency to get sick than others yeah like let me geek out for a second uh microbiomes are kind of like what scientists are discovering now that like microbiomes are like your stomach is like your second brain in a sense yep, correct and the bunch of uh microbiomes that live there tend to de- determine like your life uh, your life experience biologically mm-hmm. you know that mm-hmm. sort of thing so back to persephone biosciences the company has trained machine learning models on large data sets very cool data i like the word mm-hmm. data sets feels very <laughs> geeky i'm kidding um well, they mean, have you're compiled... also a biologist so yeah you would know i mean how ge- how much more geeky can you get <laughs> uh they have compiled themselves through the laborious collection of stool samples from oh. a large number of people both healthy is and that the only way to do it i would love that job you know just collect can okay. i have some all right. stool all right that's bro. just <laughs> not many people want to give their poop as a sample so they first focused on how to get it done easily you know i mean i could mm, I, I would happily I give just... them you know but yeah the the initial funds they got to set up to develop that infrastructure uh mm-hmm. they used that to develop the infrastructure to get large volumes of patient data the microbes within the sample were isolated sequenced and cataloged you know those all the data stuff data prep stuff and then mm-hmm. the data was combined with lots of other health records blood tests behavioral medications and so on and then machine learning get this identified both path- patterns worth investigating and what they call mm-hmm. superheroes among the microbes a roundup of the right microbes that would guarantee a set of organisms that everybody agrees they need right like with one if we can build a super pill kind of of that it would be like a new category of probiotics you know okay so for instance yes. a, a certain strain or functional type of bacterium may die out in the gut in the years preceding a diagnosis of colo- colorectal cancer like why nobody knows yet but you don't have to know for that kind of early marker you don't have to mm-hmm. know for that kind of early marker to save lives you know so what what that means is like uh if we could like reinstate its presence in like the gut so like reintroducing that particular microbe into like your gut you know that would have a very positive therapeutic or preventative effect sorry for all the like big words but i'm kind of like very yeah i'm I'm in my geek phase my glasses are on and everything let's go oh are they on no they're not no they're not on they're imaginarily on so there are two there are two ways to move forward for Persephone Biosciences. The first and easiest is the probiotic supplement. You know, that's for mm-hmm. them to create a product uh, which only needs to be tested and found generally recognized as safe by the FDA. The second and much harder is to apply microbes therapeutically in cancer treatments where it is theorized it could mm-hmm. enhance the effect of immunotherapy drugs. That is so cool because yeah. this is the type of thing that needs more serious FDA approval through clinical trials. You know, uh, but like if we could, if we could pull it off, like if by uh, Persephone Biosciences can pull it off, it would be really, you know, revolutionary in terms of uh, how 
world health is approached you know because mm-hmm. we have the science but now we're applying it into technologies it's really cool there's a lot on the company's plate so don't be surprised if you start seeing persephone part studies appear with some frequency you know okay. everywhere you just hear that persephone is researching this checking that testing this i would give them my poop no for free oh for free like okay. you can yeah for free and, just and like, they would take me. it mail me mail me persephone biosciences i will send you some stool um yeah yeah. i mean i think they sound really cool (laughs) it's wonderful i just you know i have a personal problem with that um (laughs) no it's 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 amazing yeah it's it's amazing it's um kudos to them and their poop yeah yeah i don't know yeah I'm flushed away by the whole experience. Yeah, I, I can it. I can see that because you're also a not an engineer but also a biologist and a wow. expert. Wow, more 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 uh, feathers in my cap. I love it. I'm more poops in my bowl, toilet bowl. Thanks, thanks, thanks. So that thanks. was all for Happy today, today. <laughs> or do you want to keep talking about more poop? Like, want to keep pooping? Uh, nah, it's all for today. Thanks. Oh. Have a wonderful day. So let's see you and tomorrow. You. See you tomorrow. See Don't forget tomorrow, to flush. Well. Bye. Ah. Oh. I hope you enjoyed this episode. There will be more great news tomorrow. Good news travel fast. It's a news podcast serving positivity and laughter in daily doses. Oh, but we don't have episodes on the weekends. We actually have to sleep. Don't forget to subscribe and rate us on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you listen to podcasts. This podcast was produced by Matias Rosenberg, creative direction by Josefina Cordova, scripted by Cecilia Mira, and hosted by Wallo Lapiju and Celeste Bono. That's me. The show was supported by Athena. Hire, manage, and retain world-class global talent at athena.com. A brilliant startup like yours needs the best of the best on your team. Are you taking advantage of global talent? Level up your team for more success for only 33% of your usual hiring costs. Go to athena.com right now to learn more. That's A-T-H-Y-N-A dot com.